Minnesota Fine Vikings have a history of drafting mid-round edge rushers, building them up in-house, and then unleashing them. Brian Robison, Everson Griffin, Daniil the Real Deal Hunter, DJ Wanham, a.k.a. Daniil Jr. Wanham, all third and fourth round picks. That's why I never buy the national media Jabroni haircut saying, eh, they're going to go edge first round. Oh, here it goes. And even the local beat writers were like, ah, they'll trade up for an edge rusher. Now. Now, sticking and picking in the mid-rounds and building up another project for Andre Patterson. Exactly what went down at 90 overall, getting Patrick Jones the second out of Pitt. His former college teammate, Brian O'Neill, already hyped. So let's talk about Patrick Jones today. Background, 22 years young, 6'5", 261. Redshirt senior, from a three-star recruit from Chesapeake, Virginia. Took his talents to Pitt, go Panthers, uh, got after it as a three-year starter. 2019 was the breakout season. Eight and a half sacks, 62 pressures, 14.9% pressure rate, 82.5 PFF grade. Awesome. On the draft radar, and he thought that with a big 2020 season, maybe he could sneak into the first round. 2020, he and fellow Pitt defensive end Rashad Weaver, who's going to be drafted day three, were a quarterback's nightmare. 37 pressures, nine sacks, consensus All-American, first team All-ACC. You love it, man. Pro Day numbers were wonky because he pulled a hamstring, so take everything with a grain of salt. So Pro Day could be why he fell and ended up being the 13th edge rusher off the board at 90. Pro's length. He's got the frame that NFL decision makers drool over. Height, long arms, could stand to add some weight, could bulk up to 270, 275. Also, off the line, tape shows a really nice get-off, track stance, good cadence timing, also has a nice array of pass rush moves coming into the NFL. Solid against the run, will do that dirty work, which is a plus for Vikings edge rushers. It's why Unique the freaking Gakwe uh, didn't really fit in, even though he was putting up the sack numbers. And also, a, a pro for him is that he doesn't need to start. Cover does not bear with Daniil and company, which can be good. He can be a rotational guy, learn on the fly, learn on the job, and then two, three years from now could eventually start. Cons, so Ben, he's not going to be confused with Aziz Ujulari anytime soon, right? So getting that corner, getting that edge, yeah. Strength needs to add strength if he wants to be more of a uh, more than a platoon player. Bull rush needs some work. So he is a toolsy guy, but does need a lot of refinement. And also had a meh 2020, which is weird to say since he was a consensus All-American, but his 2019 season was way better. More pressures, higher pressure rate. It'd be what it be. But overall, he is a really nice addition in the third round on the back end. And I don't think you pencil him as a starter right away. I think that DJ Wanham is still the prohibitive favorite to be starting opposite Daniel Hunter. But adding Patrick Jones to a soup that has Wanham, has Weatherly, has Holmes, has Willikis, has, of course, Daniel Friggin' Hunter coming back from the hernia disc in his neck. The Vikings pass rush is going to be legit. Plus, he got Pierce and Tomlinson on the inside. Maybe they'll free James Lynch. Maybe they'll add a platoon third, uh, three tech, uh, third down pass rusher later in the draft. So, we'll see. We'll see. But, Patrick Jones, man, welcome aboard. Vikings getting after. Hopefully, the Rushmen will live up to their name as opposed to last year when they were horrible. What can you do? But your thoughts, Patrick Jones is second, number 90 overall. Welcome to the Vikings. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support that work. Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.